to pull off an effect like this would have taken me decades to learn how to pull off the skill. First of all, this made it so simple for me. I just talked to it and it did this. This next day turnaround video edit it would have never been possible to add flames in it if we didn't have Chat Video Pro. I don't have time to add flames to things unless it's with one prompt. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tanis. I'm the co-founder of Chat Video Pro, an extension we built for editors to help them save time and earn more with their video editing work. This tool integrates ChatGPT and other powerful AIs directly inside Premiere Pro. One of the other image generation models that we have in our tool is Gemini 2.5 Flash. This one is really good at keeping a character consistency or keeping the image the same and making Photoshop style modifications to it. So for example, I have this race car in the scene and it looks epic. The only thing is there's a lot of people in the scene. So if we just click on this button here to bring it into Chat Video Pro, let's remove all of these people from the scene. So I wanna just make sure that we have Gemini selected here for the image generation model and let's tell it, remove all the people from the scene. All right, and then we'll send that. And here we go, it looks like it removed 90% of the people. This is already a really good result. And you can see it kept the car completely the same, which is awesome. If we wanted to enhance this even more, we could drag and drop it straight down into the chat here and click the edit button. This opens up the canvas editor. And there's a few tools here that allow you to get more fine-tuned adjustments. For example, we have the in-painting tool. This allows you to draw brush strokes around certain areas that you wanna add, change, or modify. You can draw arrows, directing movement, or explaining a direction that you want things to go. You can draw a square around an object to modify just that area, as well as a circle. So there's a few different tools there that you can use. You have some controls down here at the bottom. You can undo, redo, clear all, or just delete particular elements. We have the text tool, so you can type in a prompt here and click add. This adds text to the screen, which you can use for annotations, clear that. And then the final thing is you can add media to the scene. So maybe you have a model and you wanna give them a product, make them hold something or make them wear a certain piece of clothing. This is where you could just add in another image. I'm just gonna choose a random image here. And as you can see, you can add other images to the scene as well. So for this case, I'm gonna use the brush tool and I'm just gonna highlight these people around here in the back and Click apply, this adds it to the canvas here. Remove the people in the background that I've selected. All right, so we've highlighted those characters in the background. I let it know and now it's gonna generate an image using those canvas edits. All right, here's the final result and as you can see now, all the people are gone. So this is the iterative process that you can use with the canvas editor to really fine tune your generations. Now with this optimized image, you can bring it back into the chat again you can turn on video generation and now you could make this B-roll for your video. Maybe the camera dollies in or it orbits the car or it does something even more epic. Your imagination is really the only limitation here. And Jake's gonna show you a few more edits that we did in this project that we amplified our B-roll with our imagination. Let me show you how we amplified this Formula One event recap video in just a couple of minutes with some Hollywood style VFX. So look, we got some pretty cool shots of some really exotic cars like this McLaren. And so this is a pretty cool shot, right? Well, let me show you how we can amplify a little bit and make it to where we now have exhaust flames coming out of it. So I'm gonna grab this use the export frame to bring it in so I can start to use the in canvas painter and I'll click this paint tool. Then I'm going to highlight this area. I'm going to click apply. Now I'm going to tell it add realistic flames spitting out of the exhaust when the car revs its engine. There we go. Give it that prompt. Now it's going to analyze it. It's going to use Gemini 2.5 flash to edit it, to add the flames to the scene. Sweet, it generated a pretty realistic flame right inside. And now I'm gonna go over here, start a new chat, and then select the video prompt creator. This is going to help me dial in the prompt to deliver the best output of this video. So what I'm gonna do is give it the reference frame, bring it in from the library, pull it in, close the library, come back. And so it's asking me what kind a video would you like to create today? So I'm going to give it the reference image and I'm going to say, I want the flames on the car 
to spit out when the car revs its engine. Keep the camera movement subtle, dolly in, and that should be it. Now it's going to take that information that I started with and it's gonna help me cater the prompt and fine tune it to where it can deliver the best output. This is great because video generation does cost a lot of money, especially when you're doing a lot of iterative video generation. So dialing in your prompt before you actually execute the video generation is an essential key to get the best output, saving you a lot of time, saving you a lot of money, and delivering a high quality video. So. Here we go. It's going to help me dial it in with a step two refinement process. So it says to perfect your video prompt, let's refine a few couple details. And it's gonna ask about audio elements. Should there be engine be revving SFX or background music? So I'm gonna say, I would like the engine to be revving as the fire emits from the exhaust. The intensity of the flame should be hyper realistic. The preferred duration of the scene is about one to two seconds. And then it's gonna ask me a couple of things here, dolly in and out. So I wanna, yeah, I wanted to dolly in. Select that, wiggle, no, I don't want that wiggle, so I'm not gonna add that. And then static, no, I kinda want it to dolly in. And then steady cam, gimbal shot, smooth follow shot, floating camera, walk with character, seamless track. No, I think I'm just gonna do this um, selection of a slow dolly in. So this is great because it helps you dial in expert prompted camera movement. So I only selected the dolly in for the camera movement. And then it gives you options for the effects, it gives you options for another camera movement. So I just went with the dolly to add that to my prompt. This is gonna to continue to fine tune it. All right, so now it comes to the final details where I can make, it, make sure everything's ready before I send a video generation. So to perfect my prompt, it's asking, should the camera dolly in or out to capture the flames from the car's exhaust? Start with dollying in and as the flames exhaust, we see them arrive. The emotions should be exciting adrenaline danger and power yeah keep the setting uh, the exact same sweet so you just answer all those naturally like i just said some pretty non-fluid stuff and let's see it's going to give me an expert json prompt awesome so now it dialed in this optimized json prompt i can read it here it gives me the description everything right here so a slow dolly in captures the flames from the exhaust of a sports car in an urban setting emphasizing the exciting adrenaline danger and power that radiate from the scene the engine revs intensely creating a hyper realistic display of bright orange and yellow flames against the cool blues and grays of the city backdrop this dynamic and intense moment unfolds as the camera focuses on the car's rear capturing the photorealistic detail of the flames shooting out lasting just one to two seconds yet leaving a lasting impression of dynamic energy in the clear daytime sky that's really detailed i would be like yeah make flames come out of it but when i say make flames come out of it it talks to the machine and gets it really dialed in knowing how to effectively communicate because we have our visions and our imaginations but to effectively articulate that in a really concise manner where the machine can interpret it is the key here. And so the expert JSON prompter is going to make sure that we get it off of one prompt, saving so much money, saving so much time, and delivering a high quality output. So I'm gonna copy this JSON prompt, I'm going to paste it in, then I go to my library, I grab this right here, awesome. Now it has the reference frame to animate it, then I activate the video generation button. I wanted to keep it portrait nine by 16, 720, we're going to be using the, let's just try VO3 fast. Let's see how VO3 fast does. And let's go ahead and send it. VO3 fast is one of the cheaper models. It does come with sound. There are other options. I could have used Sora 2. I could have used VO3 standard. There are many ways we could execute this, but let's see how VO3 fast performs. These tools are constantly getting better and better, and we're just gonna keep adding the best, latest and greatest tools right inside Chat Video Pro. So check out foul.ai if you have any tools that you wanna implement. They have a whole catalog library of tools that we can put in Chat Video Pro. Comment below if you wanna input anything from that catalog. We'll put it up to the community vote and we'll see which ones we add. Awesome, so the video is ready. Let's see how it is. Looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Awesome, it just added hyper-realistic flames within a couple of minutes. To be able to do this, add this actual animation would be extremely challenging. So then I can go ahead, download this, put it in my project, save it, it comes right into Premiere, bring it onto the timeline, awesome. We use this exact effect for our client for a next day turnaround event recap for a Formula One event. And to pull off an effect like this would have taken me 
decades to learn how to pull off the skill, first of all, and then actual implementation of working in After Effects, and I don't even know what it would have taken. Like, I'm not that great of an editor. This made it so simple for me. I just talked to it, and it did this. This is the first starting scene, and then it gave me this. Boom, I just added fire, look at this. Look at the fire flame reflection on this. We delivered to the client and I asked him, can you tell me what stood out to you? Can you tell what was fake in the video? And he said, I didn't know any of it was fake. The hyper realism of the delivery of this is a total game changer. I imagined flames coming out of the back of this car and then minutes later it happened. So it is revolutionary. I can't speak more highly enough about just where the, the future is going for us as creators. Chat Video Pro is a total game changer. It'll amplify your imaginations and help you make your visions come to fruition in a very small amount of time and the uh, imagination is limitless. We are now just fully capable with this Swiss Army knife of a video editing tool right inside Premiere Pro. So to recap the breakdown of what just happened, we had a reference frame that we brought into Chat Video Pro. We added the element of fire to the image with Gemini 2.5 Flash with the in canvas painting tool. Then we got that image, downloaded it right inside Premiere, moved it into the chat, used the video prompt creator to create an optimized JSON prompt that gave us the exact dialed in delivery video with one prompt, saving so much time, so much money and delivering a high quality video.